All right, everyone, I'm doing a kind of a review, overview, whatever you want to call it. The uh, Sumsour 858D hot air rework station. Got it on Amazon for about 28 bucks. It's a small little unit. Uh, it gets up to 500 degrees. I believe it's Fahrenheit. Um, so let's turn it on. I'm going to put this overhead so uh show you what it can do. Um, <clears throat> use it for desoldering. Uh, components from stuff I've scavenged and uh, and also uh, heat shrink on uh, ESC leads and bullet, uh, battery leads so uh, let's uh, turn it on it gets hot pretty quick um, right now uh, it is set it to 290 just to do some heat shrink tubing. I got this uh, tent stake. Just uh, pretend it's, you know, it's pretty heavy gauge wire. <laughs> if you want to pretend that's what it is, just to show you. Um, heats up pretty quick. So right now it's heating up found out what SLP means uh, it goes into sleep mode apparently and uh, when it's in the hot air guns in the holster until you pick it up so I had it at uh, 290 Fahrenheit when I did so that was sufficient enough to uh, heat up the heat shrink to melt um, shrink it so it's it's melting pretty quick and right now it's at 300 degrees Celsius, uh, sorry, Fahrenheit. So I got, it comes with, um, like, I believe four different nozzles that, um, that you just screw on. Let's see if we can get that in the shot. There we go. Nope. There we go. Just screws on with a little Phillips, um, screw and a nut. Um, you can change the how hard it blows out air also. Um, like I said it heats up pretty quick. comes with a holster um, that you screw on the side. So um, yeah. That uh, there you go. Shrunk pretty good. Onto, I don't know, it's almost like 12 gauge wire. If this was a wire, um, so that's going to demonstrate. Probably get it loud with the fans going. Let me demonstrate. Um, crank it up a bit. I'm gonna crank it up to uh, 500 degrees to uh, de do some desoldering. Um, I am going to desolder just some rusty buttons right here. Got them marked. Um, I'm gonna use a solder sucker. So I'm gonna heat up the joint and then pop the solder off with the solder sucker. Um, the circuit board will crackle, um, but I don't really care about the circuit board. Uh, I just care about the part. So um, it will probably damage the board, but hopefully not the part. Whew. All right. They, already up to 500 
heat up this joint. I'm going to turn it off. Now it still blows air after you turn it off for a bit. So it's advised to keep it away from anything flammable, light things on fire, that kind of thing. Um, and I have the, the holster pointing up, so that way it's not blowing down on my workbench. And then I'm just going to take a screwdriver. Um, where did it mark? Now if I break some of these buttons off, I don't really care because they're got them from like an old uh, message message machine or something. But I was thinking about throwing them into some contact cleaner and uh, seeing if I can get some of the rust off. There we go. I don't know if you can see that part, it's kind of blurry. There you go. If you can hear that, it still clicks. Put it in my my uh, bucket bin, button bin with the switches and buttons. Um, oh yeah, this is this one. Easier if I just put it on the workbench and pry it off. Just be careful not to break the legs of it. I've done that a couple times. Uh, yeah, just did it with that one. So, yep, just got just got uh, this button off right here. See how rusty it is? I think with some electronic contact cleaner, um, clean it right up, and I can probably re reuse it for some kind of project. Um, I was thinking other uses, probably you know, if you're a cosplayer, um, you can use EVA foam and you know form it with the the heat gun, but since you got the different size tips, it's uh, better than like a um, paint stripper type of gun, which I also have. You can get really, you know, two small parts. Um, you know, reflow solder for SMD uh, circuits, that kind of thing. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching. Like, like, and subscribe. I'll uh, talk to you soon.